In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Shape Hints to control your shape tween. I'm going to begin by using my Poly Star tool to create a triangle on the stage. I do that under Tool Settings using my Options, selecting three sides on the polygon, which will create a triangle. Unfortunately, I had my object drawing on from my last exercise, so to fix that, modify, break apart, and then for frame 60, I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. Here I will use my rectangle tool. I'll turn my object drawing off, put my rectangle in here, and go ahead and change its color. So now in frame 1, I have a triangle, which will change in frame 60 to be a rectangle. I have to create my shape tween. I can test it by hitting Enter. And it moves smoothly into a rectangle. Sometimes you'll want it to spin as you have it ch change shape. And you can take greater control by using shape hints. I'm going to click in frame 1 to select frame 1, and then my insert menu, actually modify menu, shape, add shape hint. Modify, shape, add shape hint. I'm going to take the letter A, I'm going to put it in the top corner, and then in my final frame, I want to put it in the bottom corner. It turns green, which means that it's worked. And you can see that it will spin as it goes, taking greater control. You can add more than one shape hint. In frame one, I'm going to select Modify, Shape, Add Shape Hint, and I'll put it in the bottom corner of my triangle. In frame 60, I will move it to the top right corner. I can test that, and you can see that it makes the entire shape flip as it rotates. You can move this to different corners and test the effect until you get exactly the effect that you are looking for. And that's how to use shape hints.